Hey, welcome to the Trash Picture Show. It's my 100th video, so I decided to do something special. I am going to review one of my favourite movies of all time. It's celebrating its 30th year anniversary this year. Uh, Predator, released in 1987. It was directed by John McTiernan and written by Jim and John Thomas. It's the story of a dilettante space hunter who comes to Central America to hunt soldiers. And one of these soldiers is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now, this was actually one of the first kind of R-rated movies I watched. I saw this actually before I saw Aliens, if I'm not mistaken. My brother, my brother rented it and he let me watch it. And uh, he threatened me with paying a debt if I ever let anyone know I let them... He let me watch it, and uh, yeah, my brother's a legend. Uh, it's it's an awesome movie. It's very pulp. It's very kind of old school boys' own pulp. I've said this a hundred times. It's it's a very kind of Robert E. Howard kind of Edgar Rice Burroughs story. It's it's a very warrior-like individual taking on an extreme kind of supernatural or science fiction adversary, and and this is is a perfect example of it. The story, as I said before, a hunter comes from outer space to hunt the most dangerous game, man, and he arrives in Central America and starts to pick off a special forces commando unit led by Arnold Schwarzenegger, who plays Dutch Schaefer, and he is amazing. Schwarzenegger is amazing in this movie. I think this is actually one of his best performances, because he's so genuine and so sincere, and you feel like he's a soldier. The rest of the cast is amazing. You have Shane Black... You have Jesse Ventura, uh, Bill Duke, Richard Chavez, Sonny Landum, Carl Weathers from Rocky. They are all cool, really likeable characters and, and you care for them. They're, they're larger than life egos and personalities and they all have unique weapons. That's You don't confuse them. You don't confuse one guy for the next. And when they get picked off, you're like, oh shit man, I really like that character. And it works so well. Uh, the movie has this fantastic build-up of sp suspense. Like, at the start of it, it does feel very much like a, a Schwarzenegger action movie. A friend of mine pointed out if you took if you took out the opening with the spaceship, you could have like just the beginning of a regular kind of Arnie action movie with this team going to South America and trying to rescue these people, and then out of left field comes this predator, and the action is relentless, but then. There is this really kind of slow down in the middle of in the middle section, which builds the tension. You 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 get to see the predator, uh, via POV. You get to see what he sees and as he picks them off. And there's reveals. There's fantastic reveals of like first you see the POV with the infrared, the creepy infrared, and then you see the predator in a camouflage state, and then you see him uncamouflaged and in his kind of Rastafarian warrior armor, and then when he takes off his helmet at the end. And that is brilliant. It is fantastically executed. It 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 is like a slasher. Um, if Alien was a slasher movie in space, this is a slasher movie in a jungle with with a, a space monster. It 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 it's fantastic. The visual effects for the time still hold up. Some of them are a bit ropey, but by and large they still work. And the creature effects, Stan Winston done an amazing job. Now there was a bit of a problem. Halfway through the shoot, they had hired another bunch of guys to do the, the predator creature, and it was they the crate arrived. They opened the box, and they took it out, and it looked like a fucking Power Ranger villain. It was this big purple elongated thing, and they tried they tried like shooting in particular ways, and it was fucking woeful. It was it was a disaster. So Arnold, who had uh, previously worked on the Terminator said, hey, I worked with this guy, Stan Winston, he's awesome, uh, we'll get him to come to South America and Mexico to, to, to do the visual effects on this. And he was on the plane over and he was doing concept designs and Jim Cameron was in the seat next to him. And Cameron was like, yeah, I'd always like to see something with mandibles. You know, mandibles would be cool. And Stan Winston was like, yeah, so what? He's like, oh shit, mandibles, yeah. So so we've kind of James Cameron to thank for the alien design, the tusks, the dreadlocks. This is a powerful creature. When you see it, it you think, oh shit, Arnie could actually get a hiding from this thing. And not only the, 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 the creature and practical makeup effects make it, Kevin Peter Hall, 
the, the gentle giant who portrayed Harry and Harry and the Hendersons does a wicked job. You really feel that this is a warrior. This isn't some kind of just random marauding creature. This is this is something tactical. It thinks it is a hunter. It, it hunts and stalks its prey. And, and Kevin Peter Hall lends himself to that performance so well. And it's 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 such a beautiful design and a beautifully executed movie. John McTiernan, who later went on to do the likes of Die Hard, is is perfect. He knows how to build suspense. He knows how to make an action movie that isn't all ban ban blow up. Um, speaking of some of the cast, Shane Black is actually returning to the Predator universe to direct a new movie, The Predator. A couple of uh, photos have appeared on set with uh, a bunch of predators, man in a tank, and some of them are wearing uh, army camos. And a lot of people kind of went up in arms about it. But I think Shane Black went on Twitter and said, don't worry, it's just some of the guys goofing around on set. So hopefully it'll be good. I enjoyed uh, the nice guys and I enjoyed Kiss Kiss Ban Ban. And I'm going to be interested to see what he does with the kind of Predator franchise. Because I enjoyed Predator 2 and I enjoyed Predators. The AVP movies... I fanboy over them a wee bit, but by and large, I know they're not great movies. But, again, Predator works so well, because it's a very kind of modern take on a pulp story. It's very, it is very like, kind of, uh, uh, kind of, Robert E. Howard or Edgar Rice Burroughs. Speaking of which, there is a couple of crossovers you can check out. I would highly recommend, first off, the awesome Batman vs. Predator. This is actually a really cool, cool comic. Uh, Dave Gibbons. Andy Hubert and Adam Hubert. The art is amazing. And you really kind of. You really get a good kind of sense of the Predator. And just. Some of the pin ups at the back are pretty awesome as well. Just Batman facing off against the Predator. Um, I think I have another comic here. I want to show you. Yeah here it is. This one. Speaking of uh, Robert E. Howard. And kind of. Uh, real pulp kind of stories. This is this is perfect. It's Tarzan versus Predator. And. This kind of captures the real feel and vibe of the first movie. Uh, it does go a bit crazy because uh, pterodactyl men show up. But uh, if you're a fan of uh, real pulpy kind of stories, Tarzan vs. Predator is, is a delight, an absolute delight. Lee Weeks and Walter Simpson and the art. The art is, is pretty awesome. Again, if you're a fan of Predator, check that comic out. Superman vs. Predator. Um... Good Superman story, not a great Predator story. You have kind of a team up between the two of them near the end. Uh, if you are a fan of the Man of Steel, it is kind of interesting. And last but not least, uh, Predator Hell in Hot Water. Uh, Mark Schultz and Gene Coleman. Uh, a Predator hunter decides to pursue another extraterrestrial creature into the Earth's ocean. And it's cool because you get to see the Predator in an environment it not usually is in. Um... It, the comics are amazing. There's novels out there. Um, not many video games. The only real video game I can kind of pinpoint would be uh, Predator Concrete Jungle. And I've reviewed that already. Uh, if you are going to pick up Predator, uh, the Ultimate Edition is good. But they've kind of, they, they cleaned it up a bit too much. So it looks like, it looks like Carl Weathers looks like a bar of chocolate. And Arnie looks like he has no pores on him whatsoever. But uh, special features are pretty cool. And it goes over some of the, the making of and things like that. And, and fun fact, uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme, for some scenes, was going to be the Predator. But he, he was a bit annoyed with the suit. So I think I think he, he kind of jumped ship uh, near the end of it. If you get a chance, check out Predator. It is an awesome movie. It is a rocking movie. If you're a fan of sci-fi or horror, check this movie out. It is a fucking treat. Uh, my name is Martin. This has been my 100th video. And I just want to say... A big thanks to everyone who watched uh, my videos over the past year. I've been doing this a year now. And I'm having another video after this one. Which just explains kind of my motivations and reasons for doing the video. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Take care. Bye now.